Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn creating stored procedure. What is stored procedure? A stored procedure is a procedure prepared SQL query statement that would be saved inside your database and whenever you require to call the same query to execute repeatedly, you can call it and use the this query like a prepared statements at a procedure. So let's see in your SQL statement like uh, in your SQL management studio once you expand the database you will see and you will find a table like a folder called programmability. So in here inside something like a stored procedures. So creating a procedure thus like a, the query statement particularly a particular standard procedure we will write and will add here. So that how it is possible to create a procedure and write and all we will see now. Let's see like a new query window I am using our web app database. So here just I am preparing create procedures okay. So using like how we can create a stored procedure using create a keyword create procedure create procedure and uh, name of the procedure we need to write. So what is the name of the procedure we can put like uh, stu dent underscore de -E IELTS student details. This is my name of the procedure. This is uh, my procedure name and here what I am trying to write in as begin keyword when it is initiating and end when the starting of the procedure execution and to be there for a query standardization. So here inside uh, like multiple queries also we can write. So again I am writing begin and end here uh, inside the begin I am writing like uh, a select statement select star from uh, select star from what is the table we'll use like uh, this table we'll try to use stu dent yeah terminate how a SQL statement we will write the same way you need to write the scale SQL statement inside the procedure there is a no changes so if I if I just find here under the procedures like uh, there is a no procedures over here if I am running this query if I am executing this query yes query the name already student details uh, database okay maybe table it is there so procedure name is not creating as a table so we'll write like a student data student data as a procedure name so execute yes command is successfully executed reload the page expand this see see the student data the procedure is created is there any parameters no parameters okay i'm not applied any parameter over here so the data like uh, if I want to call the n number of times I need to I can I can able to call this uh, procedure. So how I can call the procedure let's see I am writing at the end or else we will do one thing uh, take a new query and write here uh, calling a procedure. So how we can call the procedure exec name of the procedure. So name of the procedure is student data student data that's it terminate execute student data that's it run it so what it is executing the procedure is executing and what is inside the procedure see the select star from student that's it what the query you are added here successfully it will be run and it will present you data that's it how beautifully we are creating stored procedures so using the stored procedure you can create n number of queries in the single procedure or you can create multiple stored procedures yes it is possible in the next lecture we'll see how to add parameters with the inside the procedure thank you